Today's video, we're gonna show you how we finish up part two of this dresser. Zeb worked really hard to use stripper on this and sand it and get it ready for stain. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how we finish it with real stain and a top coat. We've got real stain number two here. Number two is kind of a grayish brown, more brown than gray mix. It's water-based, all natural, and we're gonna mix it up. We have three cups of warm water, and it is not suggested to mix up a little bit at a time because you want all the pigments to be in there to get the correct color. When you get your real stain, it's gonna come with full instructions on the back. The manufacturer suggests that it's going to be good for two weeks. I keep mine upwards of six weeks in the fridge. It will start to smell a little bit, but it will work just fine. To pick up this stain, go to jamierayvintage.com. I'm applying the stain with a sock, and I'm gonna let it sit on here, and as it sits, the color will deepen over time. And you can do two to three coats to get the desired finish that you want. Even with two or three coats, this will still probably be fairly light, which is what I want. This is gonna even out the finish on here and give it a nice natural look. And every wood will stain differently, so hopefully this is all made with the same kind of wood, but even if it doesn't, it'll get a really nice aged effect. So we're putting on coat number two here. It's getting a little darker with every coat. It's not really showing up much on camera because it's a reactive stain, but once it's cured, we'll show you what it looks like, some good close-ups so you can see the grayed, weathered stain. When we picked this up, the back side of the mirror frame did not have the bracket that holds it and allows it to swing. It was missing this portion here, so I've only got this side that holds onto the harp. I'm gonna take this old hinge and use that to make a bracket to go over this. We've got two coats of real stain on here. They're nice and dry. I'm gonna go ahead and seal it with my HVLP sprayer. And I'm using Sweet Pickens Top Coat because that's gonna give us a nice matte finish even spraying it. It's all done. It took probably about eight hours to strip the whole thing down and refinish it, maybe nine if I'm being generous. <laughs> and the real stain number two is not a stain that like sits and will make it all uniform. It's a reactive stain. So different wood will react different ways. And there's a few areas on this where the tones are a little bit different because they're pine instead of oak. But overall, I really love 
the muted look and it's much better than the way it was before and I love it so much not yellow. The paint and varnish stripper that we used is the clean strip and that's the same for the mineral spirits. Both are the same brand. I'll make sure to have the links down below so you can find it easy. You can pick up the Reels Day number 2 and the top coat at jamierayvintage.com. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us on this part 1, part 2 process. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Hit the subscribe button.